Recently, I released two videos that discuss data from a big study that aimed to offer some answers on if the ketogenic diet, and even more specifically, ketones, cause heart damage. The overall conclusions were that yes, they do, but how exactly? Learn Your Body, a science-based education. Now, I didn't cover all of the data because, well, it's a massive paper, but I do have it linked for you here, along with my notes, including all of the data. So be sure to read it for yourself. That said, the researchers did offer some more information that I left out. The potential mechanism for why the ketogenic diet was leading to heart damage. Bear in mind, this was done in animals, human and animal cells, and a little was gleaned from patients. So there's considerable confirmation that needs to be done to reach any definitive conclusions. But here is the proposed mechanism. The ketogenic diet leads to an inevitable rise in ketones that are produced from the liver. This rise in blood ketones eventually finds its way to the heart, where heart muscle cells uptake the ketones. Now, to be clear, although both major ketones were tested, only beta-hydroxybutyrate led to heart damage. So beta-hydroxybutyrate is in the heart cell, and it ends up inhibiting an enzyme known as an HDAC, or histone deacetylase. This enzyme is responsible for the removal of a tag on protein that is wrapped in DNA, meaning it helps control gene expression. Genes being the blueprints of the production of key proteins in the heart cell. So the inhibition of this HDAC in the cells leads to the increased opening of these genes. So an inverse relationship. More HDAC, less gene opening and availability. Less HDAC, more gene opening. Now, within the DNA wrapped around the histone, that protein, the gene for sirtuin 7 exists. This gene holding the information for the production of the protein called sirtuin 7 is now more exposed, meaning more of the cell's protein synthesis machinery can bind to it and begin the process of protein production. Now, this protein, sirtuin 7, then it makes the modifications to other proteins within the cell, reducing the amount of mitochondria production proteins, known as mitochondrial biogenesis protein. This reduction in these proteins leads to fewer and fewer mitochondria to be produced. And as we know, mitochondria are necessary for most cells to function because they need large amounts of cellular energy, especially, well, heart cells, they begin to fail to generate the necessary energy energy for their function and end up undergoing a process known as apoptosis, or cell death. Now, the heart tissue as a whole can't afford to have holes in the heart structure, so it produces collagen and stuffs it into those regions. This ultimately makes the heart less able to function as fewer and fewer heart muscle cells exist, and more filler protein that stiffens the heart is placed in their stead. So after too long, the heart fails. So this is the mechanism proposed by the researchers, but if you're looking at me with doubt on all this, I'd not only encourage you to check out the videos showing the data, but my notes and the study itself. Again, don't think that this is foolproof proven. This is all based on early data presented throughout the study. And yeah, it's certainly plausible and could be a scary consequence, but we also know that people do experience significant benefit from the ketogenic diet. So could it be harmful to the heart long term over decades, yet helpful in other areas like diabetes? Sure. We're going to need more data, however, before we jump forward with our reactions. This only pans our attention in that direction, but the jury is still out. At any rate, let me know your thoughts and check out the data for yourself. Catch you in the next one. See ya.